So my son asked me the other day, Dad, what's it like to be a parent? So I woke him up at 2 a.m. to let him know that my sock came off. So welcome to a wonderful Wednesday. How's everybody doing today? Welcome back to the channel guys. Welcome to me and my shadow. I hope everybody is doing good. This is actually my second attempt on filming this video. First time the audio didn't come out. So isn't that great? Hope this video is finding everybody well. I know I am well. Beautiful weather. It's cloudy, threatening rain, but let me tell you something, it's only like 80 degrees. It's like a cold front here in Texas. So I do have a topic. Guys, on this channel, I spend a lot of time, if you look at my videos, talking about how beneficial riding is. I talk about the mental aspects of it, like you know, if I've got a really big problem to solve or something I'm not sure what I'm going to do, I go for a ride. If I'm stressed, I go for a ride as well. But there's one thing I don't really think about, and I should. And it was brought up basically in a comment on one of my last videos that I want to get into. But first, an official apology to Rod who sent in the beautiful picture of the Yamaha V-Tour. Beautiful bike rod. I screwed up and said that Rod lived in South Carolina. Humboldt, South Carolina. I was wrong. Rod lives in Humboldt, South Dakota. So Rod, my apologies to you, sir. I promise to try to do better next time. So guys, what about those that have disabilities and still like to ride? I was thinking the other day, what if I was in some terrible car wreck and they had to like amputate my arm or my leg? Yeah, I know, cheery thought, right? But what if that happened? It happens to folks, or you lose a hand or a foot for a myriad of reasons. Or maybe you were born with a defect like that. Or maybe you develop something in your younger years or as you get older. And it becomes a real problem, it becomes a disability. But you still lo love to ride. There's no more inclusive community than the motorcycle community when it comes to riders with disabilities. I have never met a group of people in my entire life that are more giving and caring than those in the motorcycle community. And that goes for people that are riding that have disabilities. And guys, I spend a lot of time complaining about, well, not really complaining, but noting or talking about the fact that there are too many gadgets, too many things, too many modern things, man. Just get on that older motorcycle and ride, right? Too many distractions. But what I'm not thinking about are how some of those so-called distractions help people with disabilities. I mean, you've got your automatic transmissions, you've got your DCT, you've got your stabilization, you've got linked brakes, you got reverse. You got forward controls. You got mid controls. You've got hand controls. Guys, they make bikes where you can, if you're paralyzed, 
or you don't have good use of your legs, you don't have to use the foot controls. They can take the foot controls and move them up to the handlebars for you. That's amazing. So those people that used to ride that maybe had something catastrophic happen to them, or those people that want to ride but feel like they can't, need to know that you can get out there and ride and you can get out there and have a great time on the bike man now i get a lot of my inspiration from coach bob three who's a channel i watch and his wife is paralyzed from the waist down and he rides a can-am spider not only for that reason but for a large part of that reason i think i think he would say that's fair it's easier for her to ride it's easier for her to maintain a balance. It's easier for her to enjoy herself on the ride. And heck, the Can-Am Spider, the only thing that you have for foot controls is a brake pedal. You could easily move that brake pedal up to be a hand control on the motorcycle. And then she could ride it herself. It's amazing. So. I know I'm lucky, but when I think about things like that, I think, man, guys, you know, I bitch and complain about some things, you know, my butt hurting on the seat and things like that, when there's people out there that are out here riding every day, doing it, doing it, and doing it right. And there's plenty of organizations, like I said, man, there's the Motorcycle Riders with Disabilities Association, very inclusive. And you can find them anywhere, in any state in the U.S., guys. So when I'm thinking about motorcycle riding and I'm thinking about bikers, I'm not just thinking about those of us that are able-bodied anymore. I'm thinking about all of us, all of us included, with disabilities, be it mental disabilities, be it physical disabilities, you can still ride. Just because... I may have a disability, I may have a limb missing, I may have a back problem. Just because of those things, it's not going to stop me, it's not going to slow me down, it's not going to stop me from riding. And that is so inspirational. And you guys that get out there, and gals that get out there and do that every day, it is so appreciated to me, man. Before I let you guys go on this short little video, I want to mention that we are almost to a thousand subscribers. When we get to a thousand subscribers, what I've decided to do is I'm going to go ahead and do one, some kind of meet and greet. If you're nearby and it makes sense, I'll give plenty of notice on that. That we can get out and ride together for a little bit, or just ride and meet someplace and have some coffee and meet in person. Put a face to the typing, if you know what I mean. And the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be giving away two items. I'm going to be giving away the rider scan mirror, which I get a lot of questions on. And I'm also giving away a pair of highway bars. And this isn't a sales job, guys. What this is, is this is a thank you. This is a thank you to everybody that subscribes to this channel, everybody that watches this channel. I'm not just saying it, so I hope you subscribe and we get to a thousand faster. That's not it at all. A thousand subscribers I never thought I'd have, and a thousand subscribers I'm almost to. And I'm so thankful for that. And I want to give back to you guys, man. I want to give back to this community that supports this channel, because without you guys, there would be no channel. Just me, me riding my bike, talking in my helmet. <laughs> so, everybody take care. Keep an eye out for the giveaway once we reach a thousand. I will definitely be letting you guys know and keeping you posted on that as well. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing to the channel. It doesn't cost you anything. Become a part of the Shadow Nation. Become a part of the Addicted. Become a part of this awesome community, guys. Because it ain't about me. Not at all. It's about this beautiful beast and about all the bikes that you ride. Guys, I want to thank you very much for watching today. Again, I hope everybody has a wonderful day. Remember, it does not matter what you ride. What matters is that you ride. And I guess it doesn't matter how you ride. What matters is that you ride. 
Everybody take care. Everybody stay safe. Have a great day. And we will see you again real soon.